What's up YouTube? Fallout Freak here. And I am back with another creature lore video. In, the, in this video we are going to be talking about the creature known as Brahmin. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about what Brahmin are. Brahmin or Brahma are mutated cattle with two heads and giant udders. They are found all over the post-war United States. They are raised throughout the wasteland for their labor, milk, fertilizer, hair, leather, and meat. Background. Brahmin are one of the most important mutated species that emerged in post-nuclear America. Descended from the Indian Brahm Brahmin cattle variant imported to the U.S. for crossbreeding purposes. They developed two heads as a result of irradiation. These toasty brown critters were quickly adapt adopted by survivors as the most versatile and capable livestock animal in the wastes. Their major advantage is the fact that while ornery, they are actually easy to manage with as little as a pointy stick. A large two-headed mutant used as a pack animal, capable of carrying up to 500 pounds. Wow. Brahmin, are, Brahmin also provide milk, and their feces are an efficient fertilizer and fuel for fires. When slaughtered, they become even more useful as a source of meat, leather, tough and durable, fit for everything including tents, clothes, armor, belts, saddlebags, and shoes, bones, which can be fashioned into clubs, tools, dice, hoes, and, and arrowheads, tails perfect as brushes, and even fat for soap making. They also don't need much to survive as they can go without water for extended periods of time and can subsist on whatever weeds they find in the arid wasteland, digesting them in eight compartment stomachs, double the number compared to pre-war cows. These advantages made them the cornerstone of many a post-nuclear economy, including the New California Republic, or NCR whose vast Brahmin herds are the driving force of its industry and the influence of the powerful Brahmin barons. By extension, they also fuel the economy of parasites such as New Reno during the 2240s, when cattle rustling brought much needed income to the crime families of the city. Biology. Brahmin are mutated cattle with two heads. In addition, they also have eight stomach compartments, males have four testicles, and females have enlarged udders. They have lost much of their hair, leaving their skin a toasted brown, orange, or pink color, and attack by head-butting opponents or attempting to gore them with their horns. Brahmin meat is delicious and protein-rich, if only when compared to other sources of food, Brahmin are also a source of milk, which is not only nutritious, but also has medicinal radiation cleansing effects. So that's a little bit about Brahmin, a little biology, a little background. Now I'm going to show you a picture of what Brahmin look like. I'm going to pull up a uh, Fallout New Vegas picture of what Brahmin look like. There it is. Let me go ahead and get to my desktop. This is Brahmin. And it's weird because this Brahmin they have horns like a bull and bulls are male but this one has an udder so an udder and horns in my opinion don't mix but who knows maybe the irradiation did something to this and they say it doesn't have fur but i can see a little fur right here a little bit right here and a little bit up at the back right here i'll take it away so you can, so you can see it a little bit right there so yeah, it's not completely furless or hairless or whatever, but yeah, this is the Brahmin. You can see the ribs right here too, being pulled down by this utter yikes. <laughs> but yeah, that's a little bit about the Brahmin. Let me go ahead and get back to my webcam. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the Brahmin, and let me know what you think about um, the Fallout Brahmin in general, and what uh, Fallout Brahmin is your favorite within Fall 3, Fallout New Vegas, or Fall 4. Uh, mine personally it's new vegas which is why i showed you that one but until my next character's video you must always remember that war war never changes